Hello there, and welcome to my channel, Novice Modelling in the Midlife Crisis. My name is Andy, and this is the second edition of You Choose My Next Build, where I'm putting some aircraft kits in front of the camera and inviting you via the comments box to vote on which kit I build next. Now, as you can see, we've got four Romanian fighters. This is a German one, but it does come with some Romanian um, decals. And basically, I'm going to talk about them a little bit. I'm going to what's in the box them separately, so you can watch those uh, tomorrow. And then you basically just get to tell me which one you want to see me build. Now, we tried this uh, last week with some success. And we had a tie for the winner, which was between this Finnish Curtis Hawk H75A and this Fokker D21. So we decided to build both of them. For some crazy reason, I also decided to build this Fiat G50 BIS in Finnish colours as well. And everything went a little bit peaked on and we haven't finished them as yet. But hopefully they'll be getting finished in dribs and drabs over the next four or five days. And they will be ready sometime in the middle of building whichever one you guys select. So the first one we've got available for you to have a look at or to choose is this Azure From. PZL 24 B stroke E, titled Over the Danube, which is a Polish supplied aircraft pre war to the Romanians. And as you can see, this comes in two sets of colours and it also comes with some Bulgarian markings as well. Now I'm going to consult my um, Romanian Aces of World War II book and I'm just going to tell you who flew. The aircraft that we're going to be actually building if you select it and this is number 24 which is the one depicted and as you can see it was part of white 24 i believe that's the um that's the number rather than here of adjutant aviator lance corporal costin P popescu who was flying this in mid-september 1941 and he will have made ace either in this aircraft or another aircraft and there will be a section on him later on which we will um, read out when we've actually finished the kit so that's your first option the second option you have is this Heinkel 112B by RS Models this one is kit number 92265 and as we can see this one comes with Romanian markings also two sets so we're going to be doing this one here, although it's a slightly different variant that we're going to be doing because number four doesn't feature in our book, but number 13 does. And this is black 13 flown by Sublocontent Aviator Pilot Officer Theodore Moscou, who was flying this particular aircraft on or around June 1941. And again, he would have made ace as well. And that is your second option. The third option is the Romanian home-built IAR-80. Now, this is a, um aircraft developed and built in Romania. And number nine, as this is depicted here, doesn't actually feature in our book. But an IAR-80A flown by a content aviator flying officer Ioan Michu on or around July 1941 was flying this particular aircraft which is number 86 and we do actually have some 86 numbers provided so that's the one we're going to be um, building should you select that one. Oh, we've got the flag over that's no good sorry man and the next kit we have available is this AZ model, New Tool 2020 BF109E3A in Romanian service, kit number AZ7671. And this one is pictured in the book as well. And this was flown by Adjutant Aviator de Reserva Tiberu Vincia. Stalingrad late 1942 so that was on the Russian front obviously so that's what we're going to be doing with those so basically you're going to be watching this I'm releasing this on 
Friday the 25th of October. Uh, I will be releasing two What's in the Boxes on Saturday the 26th of October. I'll be releasing another two What's in the Boxes on Sunday the 27th of October. And on Monday the 28th at midnight UK time, I'll be closing the voting. So you can either vote now, if you want to, in the comments section. Or you can wait and get an informed decision based on the what's in the boxes uh, when I release those on Saturday and Sunday. It was quite successful last week. We um, got around about 70 of you guys involved and I think it was kind of fun. So, uh, as per normal, I actually like to have a little drinky and I couldn't find any Romanian beer. So I've got this Carpathian Single Malt Whiskey which is cask number 2967, bottle number 244 of 327. Year of bottling 2024 in a bourbon cask, distilled, matured and bottled in Romania. Yes, it does seem that everybody is getting in on this making whiskey malarkey. So I'm going to have a little tipple of that. Just let me do the old uh, swilling. I don't know nothing about drinking whiskey apart from I kind of like it, but I can confirm that this smells nice and it's almost taken the nasal hairs out of my nose. So let me just see. Nodosh, apparently. That's how you say cheers in uh, Romania. I'm not going to neck that like I did the vodka last week. Mm, that's rather nice. Oh, God, yeah, that's quite tasty. Yeah. <sighs> Should we put some coke in with it? Nah, that's a bad idea. Of course, we're not going to do that. Right, so um, following on from this, when we've done this this week, uh, we'll be moving on to the Swedes next week. And we'll be doing the same again. We'll be throwing four Swedish uh, World War II era aircraft in front of you and asking you to vote on which one. Obviously, the Swedes didn't take part in World War II. They kind of had a bit more sense than everybody else that was raging around them. But they did actually have a quite an interesting um, aircraft industry of homegrown aircraft. This one, a J-9. I believe this is an uh, American import, though. Yeah, I think this is an American import, this one. But it's got some nice colourings on it as well. So we'll, we'll be adding that one to another three or four uh, Swedish aircraft next week. And you can repeat the process, basically. And then the following week, we're either going to move on to um, German jets... Or we might have a go at some 135 kits as well. So basically, the whole situation is, there's four kits here. You write in the um, description bar you, which one you want me to see, see me build. And it will happen. That's democracy for you, I suppose. Uh, when we uh, complete the kits, we'll have a good re read-through with the um, completed model. And we'll have a little um, discussion on who the actual aces were that flew these actual planes and we'll wave our little romanian flag we'll drink some of our romanian carpathian single malt whiskey and we'll have a jolly fun old time so thanks for watching uh, please do have a look at some of our other uh, videos if you are joining us now and you missed last week when we did the fins there is a um playlist for focus on finland that's what it's actually called and we'll be returning to the Finns at some point in the future because we've got about 30 odd other finnish kits that we can actually play around with and um, there was a video released yesterday which actually documents my whole finnish collection of 172 aircraft the ones that are decaled up for one for finland or could be um so you can have a look at that or you can have a look at some of the other 150 odd uh, what's in the box reviews we've done over the past seven months or some of our build videos or some of us generally just waffling into the camera and making a bit of a wall of ourselves so thanks for watching and be seeing you